What is an operating system? So an operating system is a set of software that manages uh, your computer hardware resources and provides common services for computer programs. Without the operating system, as it's a vital component of the system software, uh, you actually can't run any software on your computer. What are the different flavors available of operating systems? Well, the most common you've probably heard of is Microsoft Windows. It's a family of proprietary operating systems designed by Microsoft, and it's got about an estimated 90% market share. The newest version is Windows 7 for PCs, and that recently overtook one of its earlier versions, Windows XP, as the most used OS. Windows haven't already always got it quite right. Uh, between Windows XP and Windows 7, there was actually a release called Windows Vista, which was not considered a great success. Previous flavors have been Windows Millennium, Windows 2000, Windows 98 was very successful, and so was Windows 95. But Microsoft aren't the only people who produce uh, an operating system. Apple, they produce uh, the Mac OS X as a line of operating systems. Marketed and sold completely by Apple and only available to work, only actually works on their hardware. The latest of which is all preloaded currently on uh, any Macintosh computers. And the, originally, the original Mac OS was actually uh, released in 1984, and Apple have a habit of naming their releases after Big Cat. So the first actually was called Cheetah, and the most recent is called Mountain Lion. Sorry, Mountain Lion. And they've got a 7% market share. Probably another one worth m uh, mentioning is Linux. Linux is an operating system that can be used on a wide range of devices, from some supercomputers to wristwatches, not just personal computers. The Linux kernel is released under an open source license, so basically anyone can read and modify its code. It's known as open source. Free to use and change. It's also worth noting that it is used on 10 of the most powerful supercomputers in the world. It was developed under the GNU project, a mass collaboration of programmers who seek to create a completely free and open operating system. If you're ever given an operating, a computer without an operating system, then a popular flavor of Linux is called Ubuntu. In fact, uh, IBM uh, in India are currently moving all of their employees to Ubuntu from Windows, saving millions of dollars in licensing. That's not necessarily an easy task. I'm not recommending that for any school in any way. You do need to have a strong computer department to support that. But uh, yeah, Linux, uh, very, very useful to have a free operating system if you ever get given a free computer. Something you do need to be aware of, though, is then the applications that you use on top of those operating systems are normally dependent to those operating systems. So for example, if I have Microsoft Office, I have Microsoft Word, there is a different version for the Mac operating system than for the Windows operating system. And in fact, it doesn't even work with Linux. You'd need to use uh, some of the uh, other word processing tools for Linux that are free. It also means that that's the software, but hardware is also operating system dependent. You may have a printer that uh, works on your Mac, but you need to get the correct drivers for it to work on your Windows operating system. So we have these different silos of operating systems that means that now the software is dependent on the operating system and also the hardware is dependent on the operating system. Generally, you're in your school, you'll probably be using a flavor of Windows, be it uh, Windows XP or Windows 7. Generally, Windows Vista was kind of skipped along. School WA has training on some of these operating systems. Uh, so yeah, go and have Explore. That's the operating system, an essential part of your computer.